Nature's Fury. In September of 2019, a storm was brewing in the Atlantic. Hurricane Dorian making its way toward the United States. Forecasters expecting it to make a dramatic turn to the north. I'm not sure that I've ever even heard of the Category 5. I knew it existed. The Category 5 is something that uh, I don't know that I've ever even heard the term other than I know it, it's there. But Hurricane Dorian was nothing compared to the tempest about to blow the roof off the Oval Office. Hurricane Don. The National Weather Service had to scramble to correct misinformation from President Trump about Dorian. President Trump tweeted, in addition to Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama will most likely be hit much harder than anticipated. The National Weather Service corrected the president, saying Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. Suddenly, America was caught between two claims. But who to believe? Scientists who have dedicated their lives to the study of weather patterns? or a man who thinks wind is caused by birds flapping too hard. This is a tough hurricane, one of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. As the people of Alabama braced for either massive destruction or slightly overcast skies, there was still time to avoid disaster. All President Trump had to say was, sorry, I was wrong. The hurricane is not going to hit Alabama. Alabama is going to get a piece of it, it looks like. It is a very, very powerful hurricane. A great place, it's called Alabama, and Alabama could even be in for at least some very strong winds and something more than that it could be. That's right. Although the experts tried to make Trump understand, he had already boarded up his ears. Hurricane Dorian had moved on narrowly missing Alabama by 600 miles, but Hurricane Donald was just forming. After seeing an ABC News report on his mistake, Trump gained new strength, tweeting, Such a phony hurricane report by lightweight reporter John Carl of ABC News. It was a direct attack on science, and also on Twitter user Jonathan Carl, who is a Kentucky pastor and not ABC News anchor John Carl, an innocent victim of Hurricane Donald. Over the next 36 hours, Hurricane Donald seemed to die down, but then it returned, this time with a Sharpie. In a White House video released Wednesday, Trump displays a modified National Hurricane Center forecast. The graphic appears to have been altered with a Sharpie to indicate a risk the storm would move into Alabama. I know that Alabama was in the original forecast. They actually gave that a 95% chance. That's right. Donald Trump tried to redraw a map with a sharpie. Have some respect for our intelligence. At least learn Photoshop. But what if the culprit wasn't Trump at all? That map that you showed us today looked like it almost had like a sharpie. Written. I don't know. I don't know. It was a real mystery. Who could have possibly taken a sharpie to a hurricane map? It had to be someone with an almost pathological obsession with using the permanent markers, as if they needed their marks to be the boldest, the loudest, the most permanent. But who? There would be no way to know for certain. The storm raged for days, growing in strength until it became a Category 5 tweet storm. Government agencies that most Americans had never even heard of were transformed into hazardous projectiles by the game. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross threatened to fire top employees at NOAA on Friday after the agency's Birmingham office contradicted Trump's claim. What began as one bad tweet had escalated into a full-scale political scandal with not one, not two, but three government investigations. Like a Sharpie drawing a fake path of a hurricane, it's a scandal that simply can't be erased. All because there was a hurricane over a year ago that had a 5 to 20% chance of hitting Alabama, but ultimately didn't.